Welcome back to The Daily Grind, everyone. So I recently did a video where I pruned my peach trees. I actually went through and pruned some other trees of mine uh, in pots as well that same day. And it is time now to give them some fertilizer because now we want to encourage some leafy growth, but we also want to encourage them to start producing fruit on that new growth. I'm gonna go ahead and fertilize these. I'll bring you guys along and show you what I'm doing. So if you guys have been watching the channel for a while, you know what kind of fertilizer I usually use. This is stuff I've used before on some other plants, but I'm gonna go through why I'm using what here. So I've got some liquid fertilizer and also some granule organic fertilizer. This is bone meal, this is blood meal. Now blood meal is all nitrogen. I'm not gonna put a ton of that because I don't wanna encourage too much green growth. I do want some, but I'm not gonna try to encourage too much because I want them to focus on producing fruit. And then bone meal is gonna help produce fruit and roots. So blood meal is 1200, which is all nitrogen. Bone meal is 010, which is all phosphorus. Then there's the What's showing here on both of them is zero. That is potassium. And potassium is something that helps kind of the overall vigor and health of the plant. So we definitely want some of that. Since we just pruned them, we wanna kind of help them establish back and start growing and not get any disease or be hindered by that pruning. Now, I don't have any granule fertilizer with any of that. I've used it all up and I need to buy more. However, I do have some liquid fertilizer here, Mora Bloom, which is a 01010. Now the difference between liquid fertilizer and granule fertilizer, this organic granular, this is all organic by the way, this is an organic liquid, water soluble fertilizer basically. Um, this is ready for the plants right away, right when you pour it on, they're gonna be able to start using these liquid fertilizers right off the bat. These take about two to three weeks for them to kick in. So I'm gonna do both because I want I want some growth in the next couple weeks and I do wanna give them a kickstart right now for, you know, since I just trimmed them. So let's start with this here. All right, so I've got some mulch on here. Also, it's a good time right now to pull the weeds so the weeds are not getting all those good nutrients. All those weeds are up. These are just pulled up weeds that I kind of left there. We'll let those rot back into the ground. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling all this mulch away. I'm gonna push it more towards the center. Expose that dirt underneath. Okay, and we're gonna go all the way around in a circle. You don't want it right up against the, the tree. You're encouraging the root growth out. So if it notices more nutrients further out, it's gonna send those roots out further. Taking about one handful and that right there is a blood meal. But what I do want to add a lot of is this bone meal. So the blood meal is all nitrogen. We don't need a ton of that, but we do want a little bit. All right, there we go. I mean, that's not a lot, guys. I'm not putting about two handfuls of the bone meal and one of the blood. And now we've got to scratch this into the dirt. So that way all the soil biome is gonna activate it and start breaking that down. And it'll be more available for those plants. There we go, let's go ahead and replace the mulch on top. Let's do the same thing with my other peach tree. Now let's move on to the liquid fertilizer. I'm gonna do all three of these. This has kind of everything that those do, but a little bit more of some other stuff. I'm putting less than I normally do since they're all gonna be in there. Um, this calls for one ounce per gallon. That's a one and a half gallon container there. So I'm doing 0.6 roughly. It has a little measurement thing here. So this is gonna be a little less. That's because I'm adding the other fertilizers as well, especially this Mora Bloom. So this is the 01010. So this is mostly phosphorus and potassium. Give it a nice healthy dose. And then the fish fertilizer is 511, mostly nitrogen, but not a lot of it. I mean, you know, it's just 
it's got a lot of other really good stuff too so I'll give it a a decent amount there all right and this is going to be able to do both of the trees i'm not putting a lot in all right let's go ahead and fill this up so we're going to use this to actually water in that other fertilizer that we put in you do have to water it and keep it moist because that fertilizer needs to be broken down by the soil biome now the nice thing with this fish fertilizer is there are molds and bacteria in there that will help break down that other fertilizer as well so that'll kind of make those go a little quicker so we're going to water all the way around all right half per tree and then i'll probably come in with my hose and give it a nice top shot of water to really kind of water those deep and get it to the roots all right let's do it with this one as well we are going to hose this down a little bit and get those nutrients pretty deep the liquid ones will sink a little bit lower get to the roots of this tree and they need a watering anyway these trees less so in the winter when they're dormant but they still need water they are up taking a little bit and it hasn't rained for about a week or so so I say about once a week I'm watering them right now in the winter. So these are my other trees. I've got two Meyer lemons, which by the way look really sad right now. We had a frost come through and they dropped all their leaves. I think they're still alive because we still got green on the wood here. So that means they're, they're not dead. There are a couple branches that might not make it that's getting brown. So we'll see. I might have to trim those off. I did come through and prune the tips because all the tips were were dying and just like this one i missed that one you can see that's dying but i think this whole branch is right there while well, the rest of these are looking kind of okay these are the blueberries i did not prune them this year and they didn't lose their leaves because we just it doesn't get cold enough here even though we had a frost i mean it's a little too cold for the lemon trees but the blueberries they need real cold um, to be able to drop their leaves and actually they're supposed to every year uh, drop their leaves but they don't in warmer climates like we've got uh, these ones started to you can see there's a little bit of i wouldn't say it's disease i think it's it's a warmer variety okay this is a southern high bush i believe yep southern high bush which likes a little bit warmer so they almost lost their leaves and then didn't i did not prune them this year because look at all the flowers on them they're just everywhere so i'm not pruning them because i missed the pruning opportunity i should have done it back in november or december but i didn't so now they've got all their flowers i'm going to get a ton of fruit so i'm just going to leave it and i'll prune them once i plant them in the ground because i will be planting in the ground at one point not just in these pots i just bought this i was at costco and they have these for $30. It's a Libsyn lemon. It's just a lemon tree. Um, I think it'll probably not do as well in the cold cold as the Meyer. And I also got a Persian lime, so a lime tree. So I'm hoping that both of those will make it through. I mean, we rarely get frosts here. Uh, it might drop into the, the high 20s at the, the least, but it got down to 16 degrees one day. Um, actually two days in a row and it just it was it was too much for them uh, this is an avocado tree which I don't think is going to survive I think this died back it lost all its leaves I'm starting to see like this is not not living growth I don't think but I'm not really sure I've never grown one of these before so I'm not sure if that's alive or not I'm going to wait to see if there's any any swelling of any of the nodules that are going to have this come you know start growing new growth if so, then I'll just cut up right, right, cut off right above it. Might have to lose all this new growth here because I think it died back. I tried covering them all, but it didn't do well. These are warmer climate trees. They just, they don't do well. But I've got so many blueberries here, guys. So I'm going to get a ton of blueberries. You can just see so many flowers. That'll be really cool. Um, both of these are getting them. So, and then next year I'll go ahead and trim these up and get them nice and shaped probably after I plant them and that right there is why I'm not actually gonna give them fertilizer because I am gonna actually stick all these in the ground in the next couple weeks I'm gonna wait until any signs of frost are gone well I hope you enjoyed this video coming along with me while I fertilize my plants and explain why I'm doing what 
Hope it was informative. And honestly, let me know if I did anything wrong. I am no expert here. I am new to all this, but it's just research I do and what I, you know, what I see I should or shouldn't do when growing plants. You know, I'm not, I'm not the most experienced, especially when it comes to trees, fruit trees. So let me know if I did anything wrong or if there's anything you would do different. I would love to hear from you guys. A lot of you are probably way more experienced than me. So, well, if you like this kind of content, please subscribe and hit that bell notification for future video updates. Also, if you could hit the like button, it would really help me and the channel out. And I will see you on the next video. Now you guys try to escape the daily grind.